What's up, Crate Crashers? Teflon Donet Dow here. August. First ever loot wear that I'm going to try to do. Um, let's see. I know to be quite vexing. Harley Quinn from the uh, famous Suicide Squad film that is, I believe, uh, finished second this week. So three times uh, at number one. Not a bad not a bad weight for DC. But, uh, anyhow, first time trying to loot crate stuff. Um, had a lot of friends doing it. Um, it's kind of, uh, they're the grandfather of them all. They started it all. They pretty much have all types of wear. They have different themes. Um, as far as value-wise, this is probably one of the cheapest things I've done. Uh, I wouldn't decide to get the socks, seeing as, uh, <laughs> you know, I've always had a thing for socks. It's the only thing I can really do at work besides, you know, the crazy ties and whatnot. So, anyhow, as far as the anti-hero theme for this month, I got two beautiful pair. Um, the Harley Quinn matching ones, and I like how Loot Crate puts it on the tag. Designed by BioWorld, but Loot Crate exclusive, which means you're not going to see these in the store. And from the Marvel side, we have the Punisher, uh, gray and black. Uh, all I can tell you is the socks, very durable, very nice. Um, like the logos, liking them. Uh, I'm going to keep the fancy thing going, keep Ms. Gale at work uh, <laughs> looking at my feet and being happy. Um, wife was out shopping the other day, too, and she came across this. Not a Loot Crate thing, but not a bad set to have either. High quality. At least she got these at Ross for about $5. So uh, pretty cool to see this. Um, I like it. I have a Captain America pair that I was putting out on my Twitter. Uh, overall, I mean, I'm liking the quality. I like the kind of graphics. So I'm a sock guy. <laughs> uh, there's a t-shirt bundle. There's also for the females. And I pretty much ran in for three uh, three months at about $27 after discounts. And they have the promo codes and the coupons out. So as far as a loot, uh, loot box is concerned, uh, loot crate guys know what they're doing. They really know how to market it, let you try things out. They're always giving out exclusive coupons. And I, and I was I was throwing them out to a bunch of people that are that are watching the channel that are just relative friends saying, hey, if you want to try something out and you don't want to spend that much money, these guys are the ones that are, uh, they started it all and they're doing really well as far as marketing. Picked up a few other things today. I've uh, been trying to finish up this set, the blind bag minis from the Funkos. And um, go ahead and open up these two. I don't know what you get until you open them, but uh, for the most part, I took the cellophane off the box beforehand just to make it easier. But I have finally got a katana. That's one I don't have. Right now I have Rick Flag, Deadshot, uh, who else is sitting over there? Killer Croc and Diablo. So, so far I'm, I'm making the squad fill out. Second bag here. I have an Enchantress. Uh, I already had the Enchantress earlier, so got one double if anyone needs it out there. But Katana's going to the wall, so not a bad thing for uh, picking them up at Toys R Us today. These things are... Pretty hard to find. I had a, at luck at one GameStop I went to and at FYE. Um, but that first time I seen them at Toys R Us, went ahead and picked them up. Picked up this cute little baby as well. This is the Marvel Legends 12 inches. Um, they have the cat, they have a Spider Man. Trying to hunt down the Deadpool is the hard part. But um, had mixed reviews for it. For a $50 tag, um, you can get it at Walmart for $44 if you do the. Uh, you go ahead and order it online and pick it up at the store. It's going to save you a little bit of money. But uh, mixed reviews for them. Um, box box graphics are beautiful. Articulation's nice. I know a couple of the guys out there on YouTube, a couple of the channel subscribers, they also have been showing me and talking to me, saying, not the best figure for 50 bucks. You can get the Marvel Selects for about 20 at a Disney store, and you're going to have a lot. You know, It's still cool, and, and, and it looks awesome, and they're posable. Just for $50... Uh, Right now, people are complaining a little too much for how much they cost and what you can get. So, 12-inch line, uh, not doing too well for uh, for the Legends here. But Hasbro's got them started. Uh, the Cap is probably the best one. That's probably next on the list if I can hunt down the Deadpool. But so far, um, you know, I, I picked up the Iron Man. I thought it looked cool, the head swaps. I'm not going to open it up and review it because I always keep everything in the box. I'm one of those guys. But uh, other than that, um, more things to go out when we go shopping. Um, coming up next week, we got our fin final wrestle crate as far as the show goes. Then we have Women of DC coming up next month. Um, we're going to stay with loot gear and see what else we got because I'm really liking what loot wear is offering us and a lot of the promos and promotions that they're throwing out inside their stuff. Um, seem like their themes are more organized and a little bit on pace with everybody. So um, they're gearing it. This, this month was anti hero. I'm not sure what's going on next month, but. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep rocking the socks unless they want to try otherwise. Uh, before as that, peace out, y'all. I'll see you when I see you.